Hey guys, it's Sleepy Scotsman. I would be coming at you with another review, but I can't. I was supposed to do a review on Percy today, but he never showed up. Instead, I got a letter. A letter from the certain overweight windbag who runs the railway. The letter reads, and I quote, <coughs> Mr. Scotsman, it has come to my attention that you have been filming reviews, reviews, of my engines. With this in mind, I must inform you that you've caused confusion and delay. What a shock. My engines have schedules to keep, and you pulling them out of service has caused many a train to be late. I'm running a railway, not a train show. Please cease and desist all reviews. Signed, Head of the Railway, Sir Topham Hatt. Well, great. Now I have nothing to review. At least for this week. <sighs> hmm. I got it. I'm gonna review this. Not this. This. That way I won't be disrupting Fatty's Railway. So, today we're going to be reviewing the grist mill. I don't have a date because the sticker is unfortunately rubbed off on the bottom. But yeah, today we're reviewing the grist mill. Okay, well first off, the roof comes off. All wood, of course. There's a little notch so that it can slide onto the mill itself, the building itself. It is painted entirely blue. And that's all, he, all there really is to say about that. For the mill itself, it is just a solid wood block, apart from the water wheel, which is plastic. As I said before, there is a sticker, however, with age, mine has worn off, so I cannot tell the date. All I can see is Brit and Craft. Oh well, anyway. The details on this are, of course, by sticker, and time has not been kind to this model as some of the stickers started to peel off in several places. However, I do really like the design on this. The stonework is excellent, as, lo as well as the moss effect on the lower bricks. There are also trees and a window. This is on the back, by the way. The top where the roof is is blank, as is the bottom. Uh, looking at the one side reveals a window and a wooden door. Of course, at the front there's the water wheel and the same design as on the back of the model. And this side is symmetrical to the other one with having a window and a wooden door. And of course, the water wheel rotates. So, yeah. Not the most exciting review I know, but, you know, can't exactly review engines at the moment. So, yeah. I guess this is Sleepy Scotsman signing off. I hope you re review- you've- ugh, I can't talk today. I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Gritzed Mill, and, uh, I'll see if I can work out a deal with you-know-who. This is Sleepy Scotsman signing out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.